Um, uh, so I just want to start by making that same request. If you guys are comfortable, I would love it if you guys can turn on your cameras. The reason for this is that I love to throw in little mindfulness activities and things like that. And it just really helps me if I can see that some of you are doing it. So some of you, if you can uh, sort of take the punch for the rest um, and just voluntarily turn on your cameras, that would be excellent. Anybody who can. Um, of course, I do understand there are probably mothers here that people who um, you know, maybe cannot turn their camera on. So I, I understand that completely as well. Um, I just quickly want to add uh, to my introduction, the, the very gracious uh, introduction that I was given. Um, so I am a therapist. I am practicing um, majorly online. And for that is that I've got to very young myself. And what that means is that anything that I talk about here today applies to me as well. And so I find it very important to just sort of start off with this, because I think usually when we see somebody come from a certain platform and talk about something, um, perfect. I wanted to figure out and the other person's like all sorted. So I just want to tell you, I make mistakes every day. I fail in, in this uh, mission that I'm on every single day as well. And that's where the growth comes from. So as long as, as a parent, you are willing to be better every day. You're trying to do your best. Um, that That is really the definition of a good parent. So I just want to start with that. The fact that you guys are here, the fact that you want to learn more, that that's all that needs to be there. So um, excellent that you've been able to make the time. Um, just a few things before I get into it. Um, my demographics I did try to get uh, like a, an answer to that but I just you know if you guys can maybe write in, in the chat if everybody's comfortable with English or Urdu or if a mix is okay um, if most of you are only uh, good with uh, you know Urdu only then maybe but I can still do it but uh, just let me know in uh, in the comments in the chat uh, however you guys are comfortable so we can do that um and I was wondering if there are any fathers here, but I don't think that there are from the names. Um, if that happens, then I will get to do it. Uh, but this is this is my crowd then. So uh, it's easy. This is so generally what I do with um, Uzma also sort of introduced as well is I run Amis for Mental Health, which is a support group platform. And what we have are support groups every week, every Saturday we have a session and we have people from all over the world standing in at that time we have an hour an hour and a half to ourselves every Saturday morning and what we do in that session is we sort of regulate ourselves we talk a little bit about what's going to help us become better mothers or and we just share our story so there's a lot of catharsis there and we're doing that regularly we've become like family with the people that we're talking to each week and it really helps because I think, especially in Pakistan, mothers are, you know, the bottom of the food chain. I feel like, you know, especially if you've got young kids, you're so inconvenient that most people don't really want to be associated or want to even facilitate you in a lot of ways. So, so we do that for ourselves. Um, and we learn that that's the best way to go about it. So before I get into it, um, just two disclaimers. A, I, I mentioned I've got two young kids. Uh, my my older one is three and a half, my daughter, and uh, my son is turning two next month, inshallah. So they're, they're both fairly tantrum able age and um, tend to sometimes bang on the door and stuff like that. So I'm just going to give you guys a warning if you hear screams in the background. Um, I apologize in advance. And secondly, um, I uh, just want to... Uh, just mention that I used to be a lecturer um, for a long time. I was in teaching for a long time. I did online teaching. I've done this platform and all of that. But somehow after I became a mother, I've become very technologically um, not very advanced. So if you see me struggling at any point, please just bear with me. Um, all right. So with that, I would like to start with a little bit of an activity. It's, it's very simple. Um, doesn't require you to do a lot but it would mean a lot if you guys can participate even if I can't see you. Um, and I do this, I like to do this in two parts. I like to do it in the beginning at, and at the end of a session. I think it works nicely that way. Um, so what I want you guys to do, this is, this is a mindfulness activity. 
which makes you more present in the current moment. And so to do this, um, I just want you guys to stop for a second. And when I say stop, we're taking a momentary pause. So whatever you've come from, whether that was work related, was diaper changing, it was a tantrum that you were actually dealing with and you thought, all right, maybe this, this session is gonna help me with that. Whatever it was that you're doing uh, before you signed on here, I want you to just take a pause from it and just breathe. So this activity is called Stop and Rain. So this is the first part of it. So we're going to do the stop now and rain at the end. So stop, the S stands for stop. So you're just taking that pause. You're just stopping all of what's happening in your head around you and you're just coming to this moment. The T stands for take a breath. So take a long, deep breath. And as you do this, try to focus on how you breathe. So try to focus on how you're inhaling, where your inhale begins, how long you're able to hold your breath for. And as you release, try to observe where your exhale begins and how long it takes for you to completely exhale. I usually um, ask at this point, when, as a mother, when was the last time you actually sat down and took a breath? Yeah. Um, probably not any, uh, you know, you're probably not in recent memory at least right so just give yourself this moment and take a deep breath and when you do this i would like for you to observe that's what the whole stands for and stop so when you're observing i want you to acknowledge what has happened so first i want you to acknowledge what's happening on the outside a nice way to do this is to look at the room that you're in right now look at the walls if there's a window in the room, if there's a bed, if it's neat, untidy, whatever it is, just observe your surroundings. In observing them, um, there's a little trick that I like to uh, teach everybody. And this is actually something that we even use with clients who are maybe going through a, a, a mental breakdown, a panic attack, this really helps. So as you observe your surroundings, if you could, just make note, a mental note, of five things that you can see right now. So in the room that you're in, just five things that you can see. Name them in your head and then move on to four things that you can touch. Without moving, wherever you're sitting, find four different surfaces that you can touch. For example, I can touch my table. It's a smooth surface. I have a drink here. I can hold the cup. Um, this has a, a slightly glossier uh, finish to it. I have a poster here, um, which is fabric threads. So this is soft, I can touch this. Um, I can touch my laptop, which is slightly warm. So five different, uh, sorry, four different surfaces that you can feel just sitting where you're sitting. And then three things that you can hear. So what can you hear right now? I've got a fan going, might be cold where you guys are. Can you hear something outside? Um, can you hear your kids in the house? Uh, do you have a baby sleeping next to it? What are three sounds that you can hear right now? And then two things that you can smell. So this one, a lot of people struggle with. Right now, my, my nose is blocked, so I can't smell anything. But um, if you have a beverage, you can smell that. If you've got, you know, like a perfume, maybe you can smell that, something around you. And then one thing that you can taste, you have something to taste, that's great. So we're getting our senses activated. In this and we are using all of them. Our sense of sight, hearing, taste, smell, all of it. And when we do that, we suddenly notice that we have stopped thinking or we've stopped those thoughts that we were you know, getting before this. So even when I asked you to stop, we're starting this session, please stop. You might have been able to sort of stop just a little bit, but as you do this activity, your mind gets so busy with, okay, what are five things I need to name, five, four things I can touch. You get so busy with it that, you know, those thoughts do tend to go away for a little while. A lot of my clients who say, you know, we don't have to think about it. This is something that really helps them. So it is something that you can try. Um, now that we've done that, we've observed our surroundings, I want you to observe inwards. If you want, you can close your eyes for this part, but I really just want you to 
observe on the inside what you're feeling right now. It can be a good feeling, it can be a bad feeling, it can be excitement, it can be stress, uh, it can be any number of things that you're feeling. The aim here is not to try and change those feelings. The aim is to notice them and give, give them importance, whatever it is. As women and as mothers, I think we don't stop to notice what we're feeling. So allowing yourself in this little activity, allowing yourself to actually notice your feelings, give yourself that importance is, is something that you can um, just start here and then make it a habit and try to do it every single day. Give yourself that importance you deserve it. And then we move on. We've done the O for observe. Now we're moving on to proceed. So the P stands for perceive. So now we have briefly checked in with our surroundings within us. And we have sort of checked in with this present moment. We're all here now. We're here together. And now we're going to continue what we're doing. And in doing this, I'm going to really try and not mess up sharing my screen with you guys. And I can't see what I want. Just remember not to make fun of me if I mess up. It will happen. All right. Can can you guys see my screen? Ozma, can you confirm? Yes. Get that right? You did it. So, yes. All right. Perfect. And can you see like just the main screen? Can I see what I'm sharing somewhere? I can. Uh, okay. So I have it. Yes. Let me make this big. Then. Perfect. Yeah. There you go. Look at me go. All right. So. I've got lots of information. I really want to make sure I get through all of it. Um, and I, I, I realized this after I planned out my entire talk that the very, like the most important part of it, the actually how to downregulate a child's tantrum during uh, when it's happening is at the very end. So you have to get through the rest of it to get to that point. Um, so I'll make it short and sweet, inshallah. And hopefully that helps us get through. So I have done my, how do I move on to the next slide? There you go. All right, so I've done my introduction. Um, again, like Osma said, any any questions, again, you guys can uh, send them in the chat as well. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have. Um, just a brief overview. I have studied from Queen Mary University of London. Uh, that's where I did my master's from. Um, I am currently living in Karachi. Not the best place to live, but life. Um, so here I am. I'm originally from Islamabad, born and raised, very proud. Um, and I've lived about five years of my life in the US as well. Um, I was doing that when my parents were uh, doing their PhDs. I was younger then, I did my high school from the United States. Um, so just a little bit about myself. I, I told you guys, I have two kids, um, fairly young and of the age uh, to throw a very nice tantrum. So everything applies to me as well that I'm talking about here. Um, all right, A Means for Mental Health is a platform that I run. Um, anybody wants to check that out? That would be excellent. Okay. So when we're studying psychology, being in this field, being a therapist, what that means is that I've been studying psychology for a long time now. I think about more than half my life now at this point. Um, I got interested in the field when I was still in high school, when I was still young. And this is something that they're still teaching to this day. It was one of the first thing, after things I learned in psychology when I started studying it as a student. And was one of the last things that I taught as a lecturer when I was still uh, teaching. So we're still teaching it. So when we talk about parenting strategies, there are four main ones that we talk about in psychology. Um, you might have heard this. Um, there is the authoritative, authoritarian, permissive, and uninvolved. These are the four ones. So I've got images here that sort of um, aim to describe these uh, strategies. And the best one out of these is the authoritative style. The authoritative style is basically where you're solving problems with your kids. You're there with them. Um, you're helping them. You're, you're giving them what they need to succeed in life. Um, you've made clear rules and regulations. You have uh, boundaries. You're following them. You're consistent with them. And you have open communication with your child. 
And all while you're doing all of this, but you're still considerate of your child's feelings. So that doesn't mean that you're letting them run wild. There are no rules in your house. The child gets to decide what he or she wants to do. Um, you've got all of that there. There's a lot of consistency. And there's what that does is there's not a lot of confusion. Right. Um, all right. Oh, the chat. There's some stuff going on. Can you speak or do? Okay. All right. I will try. I will try to. Um, sorry. I will try to uh, translate where I can. Inshallah. Um. So, uh, I'm talking about. जो चार parenting strategies uh, हैं जो psychology में बहुत सालों से पढ़ाई जा रही हैं. Um, उनके बारे में मैं बात कर रही हूँ. Authoritative जो uh, parenting style है. That is the one um, that we want to have. Like that style hai jo sabse achha hai, jo behtar hai. Usme aap apne bachon ke saath problem solve karte ho, unko sikhate ho, unke saath apne rules banaye me hai, boundaries apne banaye me hai, aur aap unko follow karte ho. Aur aap apne bachon ke emotions ka, unke aisa saath ka khayal rakhte ho, all while doing all of this. The other styles that I've mentioned here, of course, they're not, not as important because they are not ideally the ones that you should have. But I want to run by uh, them just a bit because it's a whole set that you have your parenting style, your parenting strategy, without even knowing that they're not the best ways to do this. So uh, we have authoritarian parenting. This may, it's basically my way or the highway. Maybe it's not over now. You know, the child is asking you, why do you want to do it? You are saying, I am your mother and I have said it and I have to do it. And we have heard a lot from our mother and parents. And sometimes, in our weak moments, we can hear it. I was listening to my mother's voice in my own voice. So it is something that does happen and it's good to be aware of it. Um, and it's okay if it does uh, happen sometimes, but um, this is very parent driven. Okay, parent is an authority figure, he will tell you all the best and no consideration in the child. There are very strict rules, there are strict punishments, and there are many more. Then we have um, the uninvolved, uh, which is the parent is just not there. There is negligence, indifference, and the parent is just not there. There is negligence, there is indifference, and there is and just basically don't really want to do anything as a parent, right? So it just explains, the, the name explains it. Um, and then we have uh, what's called permissive parenting strategy, which is child-driven. So it's opposite of uh, authoritarian in the sense that parents who want to avoid conflict, so they give in. What is it? 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 Um, there is no consistency in it. It's basically parents who don't think that we should have input in parenting. They say that they are going to get their own. This is also a lot of Pakistani homes. And it's like that it becomes an enabler of a situation that becomes an enabler. The parent, the mother or the father, they are enabling the child to do things that are not ideally what they should be doing. So we see a lot of the problems of marriage, we see this. Especially when we have children in our society, because they have a lot of control, they don't listen to them, they are defiant. We have given these labels as a society because we don't want to correct them, we don't want to do our behavior. So we say that girls are like this. Girls are not like this. We make them like this as mothers. So we have a lot of Pakistani homes, even those who live outside, they also have this problem where the parents are enabling the child that yes, what will happen to the child? The child is like this. So that permissive parenting sort of results in that. The child is doing what they want, there is no consistency, there are no rules, there are no clear definitions, there are no boundaries, and you're just sort of going along what the child wants. Okay. So these are the four main parenting styles that we're still teaching in psychology. Now, now we have heard on Instagram, on social media, on many different platforms that gentle parenting is the way to go. Positive parenting, gentle parenting, respectful parenting. All of these things, they sound like the right thing, right? They sound like, you know, this is exactly what we should be doing. And I, by no means, I'm saying that they're wrong in anything that they're teaching. Um, I do try to be a respectful parent myself. 
um but i've been under fire for this in the past like when the podcast with ke bare mein thodi si baat ki thi and then everybody was like how can you say this about gender parenting so i don't want um i want to be more clear in what i mean here gentle parenting is an excellent thing to do respectful parenting is an excellent thing to do if you can give your child respect in every decision that they're they're taking and you can that doesn't mean you're listening to them all the time that means aap na bhi keh rahe ho to aap respect ke sath keh rahe ho aap unke feelings ka khayal karte hue keh rahe ho so those are good things to be able to do but a parent a mother primarily are the primary caregivers to mother jisko khud जिसके अंदर एक एक तरह से नॉलेज नहीं होगी अबाउट व्हाट्स हैपनिंग इनसाइड हर और वो अपना ख्याल नहीं रख रही अपने इमोशंस का ख्याल नहीं रख रही है अपने डे टू डे चीजों का ख्याल नहीं रख रही है उसके अंदर कैपेसिटी नहीं है वो जब रिस्पेक्टफुल पेरेंटिंग करने की कोशिश करेगी या जेंटल पेरेंटिंग करने की कोशिश करेगी तो इट्स प्रॉबेबली जस्ट गोइंग टू लुक लाइक अ बैंडेज कि आपने दो इंस्टेंसेस के बाद एक बैंडेज के तौर पे लगा दिया कि मैं अपने बच्चों को रिस्पेक्ट दे रही हूँ इस सिचुएशन में देखो आज मैंने कर ली आई एम सच अ गुड पेरेंट बट इट कैन नॉट वर्क लॉन्ग टर्म इफ यू योर सेल्फ आर नॉट इन अ प्लेस कि आप अपने अपनी मेंटल हेल्थ का ख्याल रखें दैट हैज टू बी द फर्स्ट थिंग बिकॉज अदरवाइज वॉट गोइंग टू हैपन इज यू वॉचिंग ऑल दीज थिंग्स ऑन इंस्टाग्राम Instagram, Insta parenting is not real, right? Those are little moments, little snippets. So, no, they make all of them. That this situation, with this way, they deal with it. That doesn't mean that they don't have difficult moments. That doesn't mean they're not screaming sometimes. That doesn't mean they're not losing it. Okay, those are things that are happening. But nobody wants to show that part of it. Some people even do actually. But there are many things that are happening. You don't want to put a child in that situation. आप उनको वीडियो पे नहीं लाना चाहते हो दैट सॉर्ट ऑफ थिंग राइट सो वो हम इतना उस तरह से देखते नहीं है सो विद इंस्टाग्राम पेरेंटिंग व्हेन यू ट्राई टू फॉलो दैट और हमने अपने आप को नहीं जाना अपने आप के साथ टाइम नहीं स्पेंड किया अपने आप को बेहतर नहीं समझा और हमने कोशिश की कि हाँ हम फिर भी रिस्पेक्ट दे देंगे अपने बच्चों को वे गोइंग टू बी एबल टू डू ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग वॉट हैपन्स इज के इट डज वर्क एंड वेन यू realize you don't have that capacity to you are going to basically you'll have a bigger blow out right aapne us sab apne andar rakh liya usko ikattha kar liya apne andar jaise hum kehte hain ki you know you shouldn't bottle up your feelings when your child has done something wrong you're extremely angry about it you want to say something you have all these feelings but you're saying it's okay beta koi baat nahi aainda nahi karna and you're just उनको आप सप्रेस कर रहे हो फीलिंग तो यू आर नॉट एक्चुअली एबल टू टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ इन दैट मोमेंट यू आर नॉट एबल टू सेल्फ रेगुलेट एंड सो आप अपना ख्याल करते हुए ये पेरेंटिंग का आउटकम नहीं दे रहे हो वॉज गोइंग टू हैपन दो दफा होगा तीन दफा होगा चौथी दफा शायद आप उसको एक लगा भी दो बच्चे को बिकॉज वो आपके अंदर इतना भर जाएगा कि मैंने ये नहीं करना ये नहीं करना ये नहीं करना यू माइंड एंड अप डूइंग दैट When we tell parents, बहुत सारे clients मेरे मुझे कहते हैं कि आ, हमारे बच्चे जो है मारना शुरू हो गए चक्की काटना शुरू हो गए ऐसा करें वैसा करें हम क्या करें देर इज समथिंग दैट थेरेपिस डूइंग इज वे टेलिंग दैम नो हिटिंग नो हिटिंग नो बाइटिंग एंड दैट इज मेकिंग द चाइल्ड फोकस ऑन दैट बिहेवियर थिंकिंग अच्छा बाइटिंग बाइटिंग दैट्स द पार्ट दर गेटिंग आउट ऑफ इट सो इवेंचुअली वॉट इज इट टू डू देर टू बाइट गोइंग टू हिट same thing with parents if there is a parent who saying yaar maine jo kar lo maine maarna nahi hai bachche ko that's all you're thinking in every moment har dafa aap usse chad aap soch rahe maine maarna nahi hai maine maarna nahi hai maarna nahi and then maybe that's what you end up doing one day and then you feel awful about it right so how can we take care of that and that's what i want to start with basically um before i get into what to do in that attack all right so we've heard this i think all of us have heard this um i'm sure ke people will keep telling you you can't pour from an empty cup right what mashhoor kahawat ho gaya at this point and it's said to to mothers a lot um without any uh, suggestions or your help ke ke bagair they tell you you can't pour from an empty cup which is true you can't right but as a mother as a parent you can and you will many times राइट मेनी टाइम्स इन द डे मेनी टाइम्स इन द वीक आप में नहीं होगी आप में हिम्मत नहीं होगी आप बीमार हो आप फॉर सम रीजन यू आर नॉट फीलिंग गुड मेंटली यू आर जस्ट नॉट देयर 
you feel like your cup is empty today, but you're still going to be pouring from that cup because you have to change your body, 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 irrespective of the fact that you're not feeling very good. So when you're not pouring from a full cup, are you pouring from an empty cup? Are we ever empty? I don't think that that really works like that, right? So then what cup are you pouring from? Is it an angry cup? Is it a lonely cup? Is it a sad cup? Is it a resentful cup? Whatever cup you're pouring from, the outcome is going to mimic jo us cup mein hai, right? So if you have anger, you have not finished, you are exhausted, you are tired, and you are trying to think about your child, you are trying to think about your parenting, you are trying to think about your parenting, because that's natural. You can't stop it. Right? But you can be mindful of it. You can be aware of it. You can be aware of the fact that this is something that happens. And you can tell that to yourself, that I am feeling like this today. And I... I know that this is how I'm feeling. What can I do to help myself before I go and help my child? Right? A little bit like Jahaz Pe Amisha kehte hai, apna maas pehle pehle, uske baad aur ne partner ko ya bachche ko ya kisi aur ko help kare. Because jab tak aap nahi karenge, aap us bachche ka fayda nahi kar sakenge. Right? Aap usko shor karenge, dantenge, wo sari cheeze ho jayenge jo aap nahi karna chahte. Jis wajah se aap idhar hain aaj, wo sari cheeze ho jayenge in that. Right? So it's very important. I, I read somewhere, um, heard somewhere the, the other day, okay, when somebody bumps into you, you're sitting at a coffee shop, you know, you spent uh, on that cup of coffee and you're really enjoying it and somebody bumps into you. What spills from that cup? Right? Like, is it just the coffee that spills? Now, if you're in that coffee shop, you're feeling good about yourself, you were listening to some surah or some nasheed or some song that you really like and you're in a good headspace, but you have school dropped, you have your me time, it's the best life, right? Somebody bumps into you, you spill your coffee, what is going to spill over? Whatever you're feeling right now, right? You're in a good headspace, they'll say, I'm so sorry, you'll say it's all right. But if you're angry, you're resentful. You're sitting in this coffee shop thinking, yaar, meri kya zindagi hai? Mein bichari kuch kar hi nahi sakti hai, mein apne zindagi hai. Sab kya kuch kar hai, aur mein bas bachon ke saath bandhi hui hu, mujhe mein kuch nahi kar sakti. Somebody bumps into you, your coffee spills, your anger spills, your frustration spills, wo sab baha nikal daega. Because you haven't regulated. Right? So, when we talk about these cups, we want to have them full. We want to have them full with things that serve us well. Not just emotions. So this brings me to the next step, um, capacity building. This is something we talk about in therapy a lot. Okay, uh, in, especially in trauma-informed therapy, this is the new wave of uh, therapy of Oren we have. Just made the narration part of it, which is the actual story. Aksar, our first session of the new client, there'll be this overwhelming pressure that we have to tell you the most difficult thing in the next five minutes. You know, whether they like it or not, whether they're ready for it or not, it's a lot of overwhelming pressure. If you talk to a therapist, you have to tell me that my childhood was very difficult and that's why I'm so worried about it. So, in trauma-informed therapy, what we say is that the narration can wait. So, in trauma-informed therapy, what we say is that the narration can wait. Because the fact of the matter is that you have so much effect that when you talk about it in that moment, it will leave you feeling worse than better. When you talk about it, because your body cannot tell the difference between a real threat and a perceived threat. So, in your childhood, there was something that was threatening for you, which was very difficult, whether that was negligence from your parents, whether that was harassment, whatever it was. As much as it was, that was in your life. When you think about it, your body will think that you will go back to your body. Do you not know if this is a real threat? Or is it a thing that you have made your own? So when that happens, you have your fear, you have your responses, you might shut off, you might do something else, you might get very angry, you might get very aggressive, because you don't know your body that you have to do something with me, or you have to do something with me, or you have to do something with me. So in trauma-informed therapy, what we say is that the narration part can wait, 
first we we do a bit of rapport building with the client we get to know them we make them comfortable um, we focus on these other things that are also important and we can work around the trauma without actually naming that trauma in that moment and how we do that is by building your capacity capacity building may be we might even say kya chahiye kya aapki zindagi mein mushkil cheez hui i can see you can't talk about it right now but can you tell me ki aap us mushkil waqt se nikle kaise now this you can talk about right like you can say ha i was very close to god to me namazon mein bahut roya aur mujhe woh help kiya i had a very good friend jisne mujhe bahut help kiya in all of that your capacity is building and your tone is suddenly changed क्योंकि अब आप उस मुश्किल वक्त की बात नहीं कर रहे आप अपनी ताकत की बात कर रहे हो कि वो कितना मुश्किल वक्त था पर मैंने खुद से उसमें से अपने आप को निकाल लिया एंड दिस इज हाउ आई डेट दैट सो इट चेंज इज दैट टू वेन वी बिल्ड कैपेसिटी वी आर मेकिंग श्योर कि हमारे क्लाइंट्स के पास इतने टूल्स हों कि वो अपना ख्याल कर सकें अगर वो डिसरेगुलेट हो जाए एट एनी पॉइंट एंड I want to define what that means. So I'm going to talk a little bit about regulation and dysregulation. It's a word that's being thrown around a lot now. I think everybody's heard of it. कि हम regulate नहीं हो रहे बच्चों को regulate करना बहुत जरूरी होता है. But what does that mean in essence? We we're not sure. Um. Uh. Sorry, I shouldn't be reading the chat. I cannot multitask to save my life. So I should. I should. Not do that. All right. So when we talk about regulation, regulation um is basically um I'll explain it. I'll try to explain it and we'll do a little bit. Um, हम सब के normal emotions होते हैं, right? और वो सारे emotions हमें दिए गए. As a therapist, I really believe के Allah ने ये सारे emotions हमें दिए हैं. Or whatever God that you believe in, if there are other people here as well who are not Muslims, perhaps. Um. ये इमोशंस हमें दिए गए हैं ये हर इंसान में रोने का तकलीफ फील करने का फीलिंग पेन फीलिंग सैड फीलिंग हैप्पी ये सारे इमोशंस हमें दिए गए हैं राइट उनकी कोई वजह है मर्दों को आंसू क्यों दिए गए अगर उनको इस्तेमाल करने का हक नहीं है हाउ कैन वी डिसाइड कि उनको इस्तेमाल करने का हक नहीं है एज ए सोसाइटी हमने तो डिसाइड कर लिया था बहुत पहले के लड़के नहीं रो सकते बट फिर उनके आंसू ही ना होते अगर वो नहीं रो सकते थे राइट सो एवरीथिंग दैट वी हैव विद इन जो भी हमें इमोशंस दिए गए हैं वो उन सब का कोई पर्पस है एंड इट्स ऑल राइट टू फील ऑल ऑफ देम वो मसला नहीं हम सब की एक बर्दाश्त की लाइन होती है राइट वी ऑल हैव अ पॉइंट दैट वी कैन टॉलरेट अ पॉइंट ऑफ टॉलरेंस दैट वी हैव The problem isn't even के हमारे कभी कभी इमोशंस जो है उस बर्दाश्त की लाइन से बाहर हो जाते हैं राइट गुस्सा कभी कभी बाहर हो जाता है दुख उदासी कभी कभी बाहर हो जाती है उस बर्दाश्त की लाइन से वो बहुत ज्यादा हो जाती है कभी कभी खुशी भी बहुत ज्यादा हो जाती है दैट्स नॉट इवन द प्रॉब्लम द प्रॉब्लम इज कि वो बर्दाश्त से बाहर चीजें जो हो जाए उनको आप खुद वापस बर्दाश्त की लाइन से नीचे नहीं ला सको दैट इज द प्रॉब्लम कि अपने आप को आप इतना नहीं जानते कि आपको ये नहीं पता कि अगर मेरे इमोशंस बहुत ज्यादा बढ़ गए हैं मैं बहुत अग्रेसिव हो गया हूँ मुझे बहुत गुस्सा चढ़ गया है अब मैं उस गुस्से को कंट्रोल कैसे करूंगी या राइट हमें अपने आप के बारे में इतना तो पता होना चाहिए कि हम इन चीजों को मैनेज कर कर सके दैट्स वॉट रेगुलेशन टू बी एबल टू ब्रिंग आर इमोशन बैक टेल यू वट दिनिशन इमोशनल रेगुलेशन is a term that used to describe a person's ability to effectively manage and respond to an emotional experience so we're not saying that it is controlling our emotions it's managing our response to a certain emotion now woh emotion mere liye ho sakta hai bahut different ho kisi aur ke liye wo bahut different ho right experience ho sakta hai same ho and um this this example that i've been giving since i was teaching or university mein main padhati thi to badi hit example hoti thi but um i i used to say ke you know what if you go home today and you, your parents tell you ke aaj aapka rishta ho gaya that is a a situation right somebody might be very happy some people it will be the worst day of their lives because unhone kabhi shaadi nahi karni thi so it's not in essence it's not the actual event it's how you're responding to it and how you're managing your emotions according so unko manage karna aana chahiye sabko and that's what we're talking about here as well 
So first, I'm going to talk about self-regulation before I move on to the, the part with the kids and everything. Because like I said, if we can regulate ourselves, there is no way you can help that child who is throwing a fit or who is grocery store in the ground and is crying in the ground. If you don't regulate yourself, then you don't want to because you don't want people to see you they are putting their hands on it they are giving them a shake they are going all of that is going to be happening because you're not regulating yourself so that's the first step I'm going to start with that now when we talk about regulation because this is a sort of word that you have to use many people are going to use regulation self-regulation I think that we don't want to do it I don't want to do it I don't want self-regulation that is not true. Everybody who's here today, everybody who's listening, myself included, we all know how to regulate ourselves and we have all been regulating ourselves since we were born. Because when a child is born, he is born, if he gets his own money, then that's going to soothe them. If he doesn't get it, then they're going to be able to find a way to regulate through that. Right? They will know that when I get hurt, I don't get anything I need. Now, how many times I will go? He will start to learn how to manage it. Do I have to get more than 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 I have to get more. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the, the healthy regulation techniques and the unhealthy ones as well. So you guys can see that I'm on this spectrum. How uh, many techniques are healthy and how many strategies are unhealthy. You can put it in your own words. But healthy regulation techniques might look like you talking to a friend. You know, I'm going to talk a lot. I'm very upset. I'm going to talk to someone else. How do I get through this? So I'm going to call my friend who I can talk to about anything and she helps me. Call up a friend. That's a healthy way to regulate. You start exercising. You know, that is going to give you positive emotions. It's going to release uh, positive chemicals in your mind. And you know that you better feel about it, right? So you start exercising, you meditate, you do yoga, whatever. Uh, maybe you start writing in a journal. This is how I'm feeling right now. Dear diary, I need to tell you how I'm feeling right now. That's a healthy way of regulating. Um, you listen to the Quran, you listen to a podcast, you listen to music that you like, whatever floats your boat. But you listen to something in isolation, you're able to bring those emotions back down. Self-care can, can look like a healthy uh, strategy of regulation. You can go for a massage, you can do a facial, you for, for most of us mothers, I think that's sometimes a privilege as well. You feel like, wow, I've done amazing stuff for myself today. Um, uh, therapy is a, a very healthy regulation technique. You know, I'm having trouble with my emotions. I'm not able regulate Maybe I need to see somebody. Unfortunately, in our country, we think that those who are very severe, who don't have schizophrenia, what do they do with therapy? Like, we are going to the extreme. We are going to the very extreme. We are hearing voices, we are hearing voices, we are hearing voices, we are hearing voices, so this person has a mental illness. I keep saying this, prevention is better than treatment. And sometimes, therapy can look like prevention. You know that I don't have to go to this level because I don't have to go to my life. You know that that might mean that eventually you have a mental breakdown. So do you want to have a mental breakdown? Start to have panic attacks? These are things, anxiety issues start to be started. A cycle will be made. After that, you go to therapy. You go to the therapist. You say, now you have to do better. It's better that when you see these symptoms in yourself, so you catch on to them and you get the help that you need. Uh, paying attention to your emotions and giving yourself time, your feelings, just say, I'm at the start of this session for those of you who were here, just noticing how you're feeling, slowing down, taking a breath, noticing your surroundings, just becoming mindful of what you're doing. Even that can look like a healthy strategy for regulation. Uh, breathing exercises, they work well. Very well, I love them. I have to sessions my karate moves because, again, as mothers, I think we, we do forget to breathe. But also, it, it, at some point, you realize, yeah, I have to leave. 
वो तो एक जरूरत है जितनी हवा आनी है जिससे मौत ना हो जाए इंसान की वो तो हो रहा है बट यू नो आई रियली एबल टू बी थ्रू दो कुछ बताया था हम सेशन के बीच में ये चीजें कराते हैं सो ब्रीदिंग एक्सरसाइज हो गई जर्नलिंग हो गई इस तरह की चीजें सजेस्ट कर रहे हैं उनके तरीके बताना वी डू देम इन अ सेफ स्पेस फर्स्ट अगर मैं अपने सेशन में जहां मुझे पता है माय क्लाइंट इज फीलिंग सेफ विद मी um they're in an overall safe environment or they're regulated right now and they're going to practice these techniques so wo mere sath practice karenge to there's going to be safety in it agar main unko kahun ki acha jab aap pareshan hoti hain aap lambi lambi saans liya kare jab wo pareshan honge wo lambi lambi saans lenge wo aur pareshan kar denge because the first time that they're trying that is in an unsafe environment right to aap apne around safety create kar sakte ho and we can do that in therapy but another thing jo maine shuru ki activity karwaya hai and i said you know notice the things in the room around you you can find things that give you comfort in every room in your house you get dysregulated kisi bhi kamre mein aapka mood kharab hota hai there's a picture jisko aap dekh sakte ho aur aapko pata hai yaar meri beti ne banayi thi you know i have a a picture in my room this room that my daughter she was very small aur usne wo painting ki thi wo maine deewar pe lagayi thi so looking at it gives me comfort at any time i feel like you know the sorrow the grief especially with everything that's happening in the world right now jitne bure halaat hain aur hum kitna bura feel kar rahe hain as an umma as a nation as humans just generally as well you see that painting in that room and you you tell yourself yeah you know i remember i i look at it and i remember to breathe through my grief main jitna bhi upset hu jo bhi i remember ke i need to breathe i need to take care of myself because i have to take care of my daughter Whatever those things are, chote chote clues, आप अपने पूरे घर में अपने लिए एक मैप कर सकते हैं um, किसी भी कमरे में आपकी मियाँ के साथ लड़ाई हो गई है और आपको बहुत गुस्सा चढ़ गया यू नो वट टू डू अबाउट इट यू कैन फाइंड अ वे टू काम डाउन इन दैट मोमेंट आप उनके सामने भी कर सकते हैं बट यू कैन ओनली डू दैट वंस यू क्रिएट दैट सेफ्टी फॉर योर सेल्फ वो आप थेरेपी में कर सकते हैं वो आप अपने घर में जनरली कर सकते हैं द बेस्ट वे टू डू दैट इज बाई बींग माइंडफुल आई गॉट दिस ग्रेट वर्क इट्स कॉल ब्रीद मामा ब्रीद for those of you living abroad you might be able to get it really easily and this book basically teaches you to be mindful in every single thing that you're doing in your day in your life whether that's uh, dealing with your child's tantrum uh, whether that is an unpleasant moment in your life of laundry kar rahe how can you be mindful when you're doing laundry uh, bath time dishes all of these very unpleasant things we're doing all through the day how can you be mindful in those uh, moments right catch yourself doing that um i found myself being very mindful when i do the laundry because before i moved into this house i used to live in a house jahan pe us ghar mein pani bahut kam aata tha so jab main machine lagati thi wo thodi si chalti thi aur phir wo band ho jati thi to hai mujhe ek pipe laga ke pani usme dalna padta tha third world problems um aur usme wo usko fill karti thi aur bahut time lagta tha wo ek cycle mujhe pure din lag jata tha main thoda se teen char jug usme pani ke dalti thi phir wo band ho jati thi फिर मुझे बहुत टाइम लग जाता था एंड uh, शाम तक वो कपड़े धुलते थे तो नाउ व्हेन आई डू द लॉन्ड्री और वो एक घंटे पे बोल जाती है एंड आई एम लुकिंग एट इट आई एम हियरिंग दैट वाटर आई एम यूजिंग माय सेंसेस आई एम लुकिंग एट इट इट गिव्स मी सच जॉय टू सी दैट आई एम सो माइंडफुल व्हेन आई एम डूइंग लॉन्ड्री कि मुझे होता है अच्छा ये साइकिल एक घंटे में जाएगी फिर मैं एक और साइकिल भी चला सकती हूं राइट सो इट गिव्स मी अ लॉट ऑफ जॉय फॉर नो रीजन एक्सेप्ट दैट आई स्लोड डाउन एंड आई रिलेटेड इट टू अ पास्ट एक्सपीरियंस और मैंने अपने आप को उस पे माइंडफुली ग्रेटफुल होना सीखा उस मोमेंट में एंड आई ट्रूली आई एम वेरी ग्रेटफुल मैं बहुत शुक्र गुजार होती हूँ इन मोमेंट एंड दैट मेक्स यू मोर प्रेजेंट इट मेक्स यू मोर रिलीजियसली एज वेल स्पिरिचुअली मोर कनेक्टेड एज वेल सो इट कैन हैपन इवन इफ आप लोग ये सोचोगे रेगुलेट करने का हमारे टाइम ही नहीं हमने बच्चों को स्कूल ड्रॉप करने हमने उनको लेकर आने हमने उनका नाश्ता बनाने हमने लंच बनाने टाइम फॉर इट बट यू कैन मेक टाइम फॉर इट समथिंग इम्पोर्टेंट आपका बच्चा कुछ आपके पास लेकर आता है आपके शोहर आपको एक नया टास्क दे देते हैं यू मेक टाइम फॉर इट राइट आपके पेरेंट्स आपसे कुछ मांग लेते हैं यू मेक टाइम फॉर इट 
somehow we can't make time for ourselves because somewhere in our heads we have been told and we have been told that we are not important. We have not made time for ourselves. Right? And the day we have made, that day we are going to be the most selfish people on this planet. So we need to change this about ourselves. And so I've talked a little bit about some healthy regulation strategies. I now want to talk about some unhealthy regulation strategies. तो अगर आपने हेल्दी रेगुलेशन स्ट्रेटजीज के बारे में जब मैं बात करी थी आपने कहा शेयर ये तो मैंने कभी नहीं किया आज तक यू माइट हैव डन सम ऑफ दीज अदर थिंग्स अम सो सेल्फ हार्म और इंजरी इज वन होपफुली नॉट अ लॉट ऑफ यू हैव एक्सपीरियंस बट इट इज एन अनहेल्दी रेगुलेशन टेक्निक अम फिजिकल और वर्बल एग्रेशन जो अक्सर हमारी बच्चों में ही निकलती है यहां पे बिकॉज़ दे आर वीकर दे हैव नो कंट्रोल अम वी हैव कंट्रोल ओवर देम तो हम वो वहां पे निकालते हैं जो हमारी एग्रेशन होती है जो भी हमारे गुस्सा होता है दैट कैन बी एन अनहेल्दी रेगुलेशन टेक्निक एक्सेसिव सोशल मीडिया यूजेज मैं बहुत अपसेट हूँ मुझे कोई परेशान ना करें मैं बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट काम कर रही हूँ आप क्या कर रही हैं आप स्क्रोल कर रही हैं राइट बच्चे हैं वो आ रहे हैं आपसे सवाल पूछ रहे हैं बट यू स्क्रोल बिकॉज यू आर जस्ट सो डिसरेगुलेटेड यूर नॉट फीलिंग गॉड यू डोट रिस्पॉन्ड टू एनी राइट दैट नॉट अल्दी वे ऑफ थिंग avoiding or withdrawing from the situation completely not a lot of women i think have the luxury of doing this because aapko bachon ka khayal bhi rakhna hai aur sare kaam bhi karne hain to aapke paas completely withdraw karne ka chance na ho a lot of men tend to do this khamoshi ikhtiyar kar lena jawab nahi dena kuch mothers bhi karti hain kuch aurte bhi karti hain uh, especially with kids ki you know aap kuch jo naraz ho gaye excessive amount of time ke liye hamari maaye पिछली जनरेशन में बहुत बहुत शौक था उनको नाराज होने का और लंबे लंबे अरसे के लिए नाराज होने का बहुत शौक होता था कि जी कुछ कर लो माफी मांग लो आप जाके हक कर दो सब कुछ कर लो माफ नहीं करना और नाराजगी नहीं छोड़नी बिकॉज सम हाउ दैट इज गिविंग दैट पावर दैट इज एन अनहेल्दी रेगुलेशन टेक्निक बिकॉज में आपने अपने आप तो देख लिया आपने रेगुलेट कर लिया बाई टेकिंग ऑल ऑफ दैट एग्रेशन आउट एंड थ्रोइंग इट आउट एट अदर A good way, a good strategy to see that this healthy way is or unhealthy way is to see that if you are not doing it, you are not doing it. Right? For lack of a better word, if you are not doing it and it's you know you're trying to take care of yourself, then it's probably healthy. Or if you know talking to a therapist, talking to a friend, those are nice things that you're doing. You're not actually abusing them or being aggressive. इसमें बहुत ज्यादा सो जाना बहुत ज्यादा खाना बहुत ज्यादा यू नो लाइक डूइंग एनीथिंग एक्सेसिवली और नॉट एट ऑल राइट सो नहीं नहीं पूरी रात आज मैं जागूंगी क्योंकि मेरे साथ आज बहुत बुरा हुआ है मैं बहुत बुरा फील कर रही हूँ और मैं ठीक नहीं हो सकती तो मैं आज सूंगी या फिर बहुत ज्यादा सो जाना मैं किसी से बात ही नहीं करी आज मुझे कोई उठाया नहीं मेरी तो तबियत खराब होगी आई नॉट टू बी गेट आउट बेट दैट इज नॉट हेल्थी बहुत ज्यादा खाना लॉट पीपल विल से आई स्ट्रेस इट विदाउट एनी hopes of reducing that it's just who i am it's just the person that i am mujhe stress hota hai main khata hu bas ya main bilkul nahi khati i starve myself right uh, then drugs alcohol for people who do those things abusing them uh, bahut zyada karna that's also an unhealthy regulation technique but the point is that in all of these you still regulate right jo bahar ke mulko mein bahut dekhte hain ya movies mein bahut zyada dekhte hain ki ji drink bana liya pee liya now they feeling good about themselves thoda sa intoxicate ho gaye Uh, and now they're feeling great, so they've regulated, right? But they've regulated with something that is essentially harmful to them. It's not something that's going to serve them long term. Okay. So self-regulation. I've talked about some techniques uh, with us being able to use them, and now I want to move on to regulating with your child um, outside of it. So most of the work that you do, because you want to be a parent who is able to manage tantrums better. most of the work needs to happen outside of the tantra right that's the same thing i just said agar main apne therapy session mein apne client ko safe nahi feel karaungi aur safely main uske sath practice nahi karungi to i can't expect ki wo jab dysregulate ho ya panic attack ho usko jab ya depressive episode ho usko jab to wo uh, jo hai apne ko khud hi se regulate kar lega wo techniques use kar lega jo maine di hai because this is safety and that would be outside of their safety wo pehli dafa in an unsafe environment which is nahi kar sakte same thing with kids a lot of the work needs to happen outside of the tantrum taaki usme safety mil jaye un bachchon ko and then you can use those strategies while they're throwing a tantrum and then they will work, right 
Now, when I say this, regulating outside of a tantrum, this is just a fancy way of saying you need to give your, your children the tools the same way that you've done for yourself. Hopefully, after this session, I hope that a lot of you will think about the way that you regulate, at least. That would be my hope uh, at like what you take away from the session. And when you're thinking about it, so I say regulate, but you know, this is not a good way to regulate. I don't want to change this. When you think about that, um, I hope that you start to fill your mental health toolkit. I keep saying this, I love this expression, but it's like a toolkit that you have. As much as you have resources, you have many options. When you're sad, you're angry, you're upset, you can pull those out. All right, I can journal for a bit. I can talk to my friend. I can schedule a session with my therapist. I can go on a walk. I love being out in, in nature. You can go for a walk and that's really going to uh, help with your productivity. You'll feel better almost instantly. Right? So, those things are for you fitting. And put them in your toolbox so that in that situation you're able to pull them out and help yourself. Similarly, when we're talking about regulating your child outside of a tantrum, you're working on filling their gift the same way. So, इसमें सबसे पहली चीज याद रखना ये जरूरी है कि जब आपका बच्चा टैंट्रम थ्रो करता है दैट इज नेगेटिव अटेंशन दैट दे ट्राइंग टू गेन बच्चे अप अंटिल अ सर्टेन एज फॉर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम इन फैक्ट जब तक वो ट्रूली इंडिपेंडेंट नहीं हो जाते ऑल दे वांट इज योर अटेंशन ठीक है एंड इट्स स्ट्रेंज बिकॉज ऑल वी वॉन्ट इज टू गिव दम अटेंशन पेरेंट्स से पूछे वॉट इज समथिंग दैट यू वॉन्ट टू डू विद योर किड एंड देल से यार हम तो उनके साथ बस टाइम स्पेंड करते हैं हम तो बस क्वालिटी टाइम उनके साथ अच्छा वक्त गुजारना चाहते हैं द गोल इज द सेम वॉट द चाइल्ड वॉन्ट एंड वॉट यू वॉन्ट इज द सेम इवन इफ वो टीन एज फेज में जा रहे हैं और वो कमरे के दरवाजे आप बंद करना शुरू हो गए हैं और अब बात नहीं सुन रहे हैं इवन इफ दैट गेटिंग टू दैट पॉइंट दे स्टिल वॉन्ट योर अटेंशन एंड वेन यू डोंट गिव दैम पॉजिटिव अटेंशन वेन यू डोंट गिव दैम रिगार्ड एंड लव एंड सम अटोनमी उनको कुछ फ्रीडम आप नहीं देंगे उनको अपने लिए कुछ डिसीजन नहीं लेने देंगे चूज नहीं करने देंगे देन दे आर गोइंग टू आस्क फॉर नेगेटिव नेगेटिव अटेंशन राइट एंड दैट कम्स फ्रॉम यू एज वेल उनको आपसे अटेंशन चाहिए जब वो पॉजिटिव अटेंशन नहीं मिल रही माँ के पास मेरे टाइम नहीं है वो सुबह से फोन पे लगी हुई है उसका आज सेशन है One of my kids, both of my kids, उनका जो पहला पहले वर्ड से उसमें से एक वन वर्ड वो सेशन बिकॉज मैं बहुत सेशन लेती थी बहुत नहीं आई ट्राई टू स्पेस दम आउट मैं दिन में सिर्फ दो लेती हूँ आई स्पेस दम आउट या तीन लेती हूँ मैक्सिमम ताकि बहुत ज्यादा इफेक्ट ना हो उनके साथ में टाइम स्पेंड करूँ बट माई सन वन ही टर्न आई थिंक अयर एंड हाफ तो वो बैठ के अपने किसी टॉय पर कहता था मैं सेशन सेशन आपका सेशन ले रहा हूँ सो माई माई मदर से और सेशन ब्लॉक हम शाबाश यू नो बट दैट इज दैट वॉट यूर गोइंग टू गेट फ्रॉम फ्रॉम किड्स राइट आई गोइंग टू मॉडल दैट एंड वेन आई हैव टू मेनी सेशन टू दैन दे से टू मेक एम मतलब यू नो दैट विल बी द डे आई सी के वो चीख रहे हैं ज्यादा रो रहे हैं ज्यादा वो बिल्कुल भी कोऑपरेट नहीं कर रहे हैं सेम वे इवन इफ यूर नॉट वर्किंग जिस दिन हमारे घर दावत होती है और हमने बहुत कुछ करना होता है उस दिन हमारे बच्चे कैसा बिहेव करते हैं उस दिन वो बीमार भी होंगे उस दिन वो टैंड्रम्स भी थ्रो करेंगे उस दिन वो चीजें भी फाड़ेंगे खराब भी करेंगे जो उन्होंने अक्सर हम मेहमानों के साथ कह रहे होते हैं ना कि ये ऐसा वैसे तो कभी भी इसलिए ऐसा नहीं किया आज पता नहीं ऐसे क्यों कह रहे हैं एंड इट साउंड लाइक ए लाए बिकॉज हर दफा आप ऐसी कोई बात कह रहे होते हो लोगों को और उनको यही होता होगा कि करते होंगे हमें आज देखने को मिला है तो देर जस्टिफाइंग बिहेवियर बट बाकी हकीकत ऐसा ही होता है उसी दिन बच्चे जो है उस तरह से बिहेव करते हैं सो इट जस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट टू नो एंड बी एबल टू रिमाइंड यूर सेल्फ की मेरा बच्चा इस वक्त रो रहा है या मिसबिहेव कर रहा है तो वो मेरी अटेंशन मांग रहा है इट इज अ वे फॉर दैम टू आस्क फॉर अटेंशन एंड इफ यू लुक एट इट दैट वे your response will come out of love and consideration and it won't come out of anger right and frustration or anything like that so a few ways that you can do that regulate outside of a tantrum with your child you can actually make them a part of some of your regulation techniques i love to breathe um when i'm feeling dysregulated theek okay? hai so i'll do breathing exercises main apne clients ko bhi karati hu main khud bhi karti hu um and so one day i decided ki main apni beti ke sath try karta and she was i think about 2 and a half then and she couldn't breathe in and out properly to so fussy kar rahi thi 
But um, I said to her, you know, um, smell the flowers and blow out the candles. So they're sniffing and they're, you know, exhaling as well. Both of that's happening. Um, and she started to do it with me. And she started to love doing it. When I was crying, I said to her, Mama, we can breathe, we can breathe. I think we need to breathe. And then I had my son. And uh, when he was born, so when he was born, so my, my daughter would come to me and say, uh, Mama, I think Hamza will need to breathe. You need to breathe. He was a child for a month. What did he need to breathe? Tha, so kya usne karna tha? But she learned that this is something that's going to make me feel better. And then I bought this book for her. I'm going to show this to you guys as well. It's called Breathing Makes It Better. It's a very simple book. Um, it says here it's a book for sad days, mad days, glad days, and all the feelings in between. And it's just a very like simple. Uh, it's my emotions hai kuch. Uh, feelings ke baare mein thodi si baat hoti hai. And it's just uh talking about every one of those feelings, and it reminds the child to just breathe through those feelings. If my daughter knew, I'm reading a book like this, and I'm she would throw a tantrum. She loves this book. So in the morning, she would say, "I'm reading a book for her." And in that, when it, it talks about if you're feeling sad, then just breathe through it, stay with it, and it's going to pass. It's going to take some time, but it's going to pass. So, so she absolutely loves it. She's much less three and a half yet. No, she's not three and a half yet, actually. She's, she's almost three and a half. So, Choti, and even my son now, who's not two yet, he's sitting there, he's doing his breathing, fake some of his breathing. It's really cute, but I can see that we can all collectively regulate our emotions that way and they love it um if you if you're exercising aap ek mat apne bachon ke liye bhi bichha de aap exercise kare wo bhi aapke sath lage rahenge um obviously they won't be able to do it properly but they learn ki acha you know and and actually saying that out loud okay i'm not feeling good right now i feel like you know it's mujhe itna acha feel nahi ho raha hai mai sad ho rahi hu ya mai um you know i'm just not feeling very happy right now so i'm going to do something to make myself feel better verbalize kare usko aur bachcho ko sikhaye ki this is something you can do for yourself um i mean so to give a few examples easy examples that you can do with your kids uh you can get stress balls for your kids you can squeeze them together uh sit in a circle sab ka paas apna apna stress ball hona chahiye if you got more than one kid you know anything you get buy multiple uh because then they're going to fight if you don't have them so sab bachcho ke paas ho and you tell them one two three four five you're squeezing this ball together and it's something that you can also ask them to breathe through it teach them how to regulate this way um you can color with them so there are adult coloring books or mai sare apne clients ko ye kehti hu ki you want to try to get an adult coloring book for yourself and you'll get children's coloring book for your kids and then after day one they'll never want to color in the child's uh coloring book you can copy zyada achi lagegi so might as well get an adult coloring book they're very intricate unme patterns hote hain very therapeutic आप बैठ के उसमें कलरिंग करें आप खुद भी फील होता है रिलीज बट यू कैन गिव द सेम टू योर चाइल्ड दे नॉट गोइंग टू कलर एज वेल बट वट दे विल डू इज दिल से डाउन एंड दे विल डाउन रेगुलेट ऑटोमेटिकली बिकॉज वो उस टेंट्रम से बाहर आ जाएंगे या वो उस उस एक एग्रेशन से बाहर आ जाएंगे दिल से डाउन दे रिलैक्स दिल बी डूइंग समथिंग एंड देन फोकसिंग ऑन ऑन हाउ दे ब्रीदिंग यू कैन क्रिएट अ काम स्पेस इन द हाउस So, a tent ho gaya. I had a tent for my kids. Um, I had a tent for my kids. 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 I had a tent for um you can uh you should this is this is a great way to really get kids to start thinking about their feelings jo hame kabhi nahi sikhaya gaya jo humne kabhi nahi kiya apni zindagi mein aaj tak hum nahi kar pa rahe you can teach your children how to talk about their emotions so teach them emotional vocabulary teach them okay this is is this how you're feeling usme aapko emotions ke charts mil jayenge you can print them out um really have your children talk about okay this is sadness this is what, what maybe you know bahut sad bahut sorrow ho gaya hai grief ho gaya hai bahut zyada sadness ho gayi hai what does that look like to you and understanding ki wo kis tarah se leke chalenge us cheez ko because har bachcha usme individuality hoti hai 
as therapists, we are taught this. One of the first things, there are individual differences everywhere in the world, right? So, you research or science, ne, jo kuch bhi sikha diya, it's not going to apply to everybody in the population. Similarly, one thing is not going to apply to every single child. So, one thing might work for your first, it's not going to work for your third. You'll have to uh, mix it up. You'll have to come up with a better strategy, right? <laughs> Um, another thing you can do is uh, mindfulness with them. Just say, I have said mindfulness in your daily moments. We were being mindful in the start of the session when I asked you guys to slow down and just think about where you are. That's being mindful of what's happening in this present moment. So teaching them being mindful. Um, you're eating right now. What does that mean? What can you taste? Uh, what does this feel like to you? Uh, just making them very aware of the moment that they're in. Instead of saying, ki, ye aap karoge, to I'm guilty of this as well. Um, kabhi na kabhi apne ko kahin na kahin bribe kar rahe hote hain jaldi se khatam kare, to we move on to the next thing. Ke, ji, khana khatam karoge, to baad candy ki, aur kapde jaldi se badloge, to baad hum bahar jayenge, warna hum bahar ja sate, right? So what you're doing there is you're creating the stress for the next thing. And that's going to make them look forward to that next thing their whole life. Jaise hum bhi hai. Right? We're thinking about that all the time. We're not really living in the moment that we're in because we, we never learned how to do that. I talk to my sister sometimes and we talk to my sister sometimes and we talk to my sister sometimes and we talk to my and it's actually it's not it sounds like haan, ji, saans lene, oh, kehne, se, kya ho Mere, oh, saans lete, oh, kya badi baat hai. but when you take these long deep breaths and you're consciously taking them um, there is a science to it in fact um, that is releasing pressure off of certain, certain nerves and you're able to my, the physio, physiology hai of the body the, the way that you're made it's actually going to improve. It's going to improve the, the flow of oxygen to your head. It's going to make you feel better. If there is a proven science behind this, right? It sounds like, you know, right? So creating all of this. You're not feeling good, so you're responsible for your emotions, right? And you have to sit down and you have to regulate yourself. Then you can talk to other people. What that would have done is that in all of our relationships, we have an accountability. If we don't have to say that we can't do anything in our children, it doesn't mean that we can't listen to our mother or our mother, or how to say that you haven't done my work, and now I'm going to be a problem. Right? There's no accountability for how we're feeling. We're constantly saying that yes, I was in a good mood, but the person said it, and that's why my whole day is bad. We're blaming people all the time, because as a culture this is what we've sort of learned right so it's, it's time that we stop doing that for ourselves and for the next generation we're able to uh, build something better than than what we built for ourselves right so i've given you a few examples of things that you can do in addition to this to my uh, because most of my clients are mothers most of my clients um, have similar uh, struggles in life um because of the fact that they're mothers so what, what are you guilty of? You know, mom guilt is something we talk about all the time. What are you guilty of? And they will say, you know, I work in the morning at night, everything happens, my career is also, I'm also focusing on it. But the And time hota hai, right? I don't believe that time is not Because you can take out time for other things. You can take out time for other things, you can take out time. Right? Someone asks you like I said, parents ask you to go, you can take time for other things. But so outside of a tantrum, how you can fill that uh, attention while you need have for your child is that by the clock, 20 minutes a day, you spend undivided attention you give to your child or your children. What that looks like is no phones, no TV in the background, no other extra uh, overly stimulating things happening in the back. It's just you and your kids. You catch catch them with Something one-on-one. -on -one. Even when you take them to the park, so that's going divided a parallel play. Ho jata hai, right? Ke aap unke ho, wahan pe they're doing something else. But you do something with them. You do some coloring with them. 20 minutes, aap kao, bachon, ko, even teenagers. Fine, whatever. 20 minutes we want to spend with each other every single day. Undivided. 
आपका अपना फोन नहीं होगा मेरे पास अपना फोन नहीं होगा कोई काम नहीं होगा नथिंग एल्स वी जस्ट वांट टू टॉक और फाइंड एन एक्टिविटी वी कैन डू टुगेदर छोटे बच्चे हैं उनके साथ आप ब्लॉक्स खेल बना सकते हैं कलरिंग कर सकते हैं यू कैन जस्ट टॉक अबाउट योर फीलिंग्स यू कैन टॉक अबाउट योर डे एनीथिंग दैट वर्क्स फॉर 20 मिनट्स यू मेक टाइम एवरी सिंगल डे नो मैटर व्हाट um pick a time that works best do teen different times aapko alter karne padenge subah ke time try kar le raat ke time shaam ke time all of that and then just see which works best um and that's the work you can do outside of the tantrum bring me to my very last slide um which is then going to help you down regulate with your child in a tantrum right so during a tantrum how can you do it? now the first step when you're trying to do this you down regulating during a tantrum the first step is to regulate yourself kyunki hota ye hai ki wo bachcha jab tantrum throw kar raha hai uski awaaz itni buri lag rahi hai aur usko dekh ke itna gussa chad raha hai ke aap us tantrum ke sath positively shayad na respond kar sake right so giving yourself that space ke mujhe ye karna hai it is something that i'm going to uh, need to do uh, for myself so that i can do it for my child and what that looks like is basically um the tip that i give uh for this is ke you are jo ek irritation hoti hai jo badhti chali jati hai jab bachcha tantrum throw kar raha hai wo gussa kar raha hai wo tantrum throw kar raha hai wo shor kar raha hai cheekh raha hai wo sab kuch ho raha hai you can see it when we talk about being mindful when we talk about using our senses wo ek aapka sensory input constantly aa raha hai wo bachcha ro raha hai dhaade maar raha hai zameen pe gir raha hai wo sab kuch ho raha hai right और आप उसको सुन सकते हो बहुत इरिटेट कर रहा है आपको so you know you know या कोई मसला नहीं हो सकता यू यू लीव दैट रूम फॉर इलेक्ट्रिक इफ यू थिंक कि वहां से चले जाने से आपका बच्चा ज्यादा अग्रेशन शो कर रहा है ज्यादा उसका टेंट्रम इंक्रीज हो रहा है डोर वे अगर इवन दैट इज नॉट डूइंग इट तो आप उसी कमरे में खड़े होके Just turn around. Just don't look at your child for a little while, because वो एक break हो जाएगा आपका जो एक constant एक input आ रही है that is constantly giving you aggression. It's constantly irritating you. उसमें एक gap आ जाएगा, right? The reason I say try to leave the room is because आपका जो दूसरा sensory input है जो आपके कानों में वो आवाज आ रही है जो बहुत अनुभव कर रही है आपको उसमें भी break आ जाएगा if you move out of the room, right? If you're able to do that. आवाज भी थोड़ी सी कम हो जाएगी सो दैट्स द फर्स्ट स्टेप एंड वेन यू डू दैट देन इज रियली हार्ड सो आई एडमिट टू दैट राइट नाउ इज रियली हार्ड बट आई वॉन्ट यू गाइज टू क्लोज यू टू दैट यू ब्रीथ राइट डीप ब्रेथ कॉन्स्टेंटली एंड आप काउंट काउंट बैकवर्ड्स भी करें विद एवरी काउंटिंग एवरी काउंट यू कैन एक्चुअली ब्रीथ साइमल्टेनियसली सो टेन ब्रीथ नाइन एट सेवन सिक्स गेट टू जीरो मे बी द फर्स्ट टाइम अराउंड यू कैन ओनली टर्न अराउंड मे बी आपसे वो भी ना किया जाए एंड यू एंड एक्सप्लोरिंग राइट बट वेन यू माइंड फुल ऑफ दिस एंड यू कीप ट्राइंग फॉर अ फ्यू टाइम्स देन इवेंचुअली होगा ये कि इवेंचुअली यू बी एबल टू कंट्रोल योर इमोशन एंड योर रिस्पॉन्स टू इट so you regulate yourself ab saath mein and when you're taking those deep breaths you tell yourself the truth which is you're an adult and you're still learning how to regulate your emotions shayad aap mein se kuch aise log ho jo aaj pehli dafa ye sun rahe ho ki aap apne aap ke liye emotional regulation kar sakte ho ya aap aaj tak jo techniques use kar rahe the apne emotions ko behtar karne ke liye ya behtar feel karne ke liye wo unhealthy strategies the right so today might be the first day that you're realizing them. and how old are you if we spent at least uh, what 25 30 years ke to honge the youngest participant at least jitne bacche hain agar if you're doing this for your children so itne saal aapko lage aur aap abhi learning shayad shuru kare some of you might have learned these strategies aur abhi aap perfect kar rahe hain right you might be in that phase The truth is that your children are not equipped with the knowledge or the tools to regulate their own emotions. That is why they have parents. That is why they have two parents. एक बंदा अपने को regulate नहीं कर पा रहा, दूसरा parent take over कर. But when it's possible, I know that sounds like an ideal situation. अक्सर ऐसा नहीं होता है. But um, that's just to say that 
you just remind yourself, you know, this is what my child is trying to tell. My child is dysregulated. In that tantrum, you need to remind yourself. That. And what can dysregulation in children look like? It can look like them covering their heads and doing na 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 many sundry up you You know, you're speaking, you're screaming, whatever, they're not listening. That's dysregulation. Uh, they can be showing aggression, they can be screaming, pulling your hair out, hitting. All of that is dysregulation. They can also uh, be very clingy, right? That's also dysregulation. That means they're not feeling safe. Um, there is a refusal to eat or sleep. So attention required. And that can also look like them being very overwhelmed with their emotions, not being able to control them. They can't like go back to playing, for example. They can't go back to um, you know, feeling a bit better themselves. That can also look like dysregulation. So in all of these symptoms, or symptoms, right? So reminding yourself to actually be able to look for those symptoms. Um, and you can do that when you are regulated. You can see those things. But when you are regulated, you can see symptoms, you can see right? So picking up on them before it gets that bad, before it gets to that point that the child is aggressive or uh, tantrum broken. So that's the first thing. Regulating yourself, counting backwards from 10 to 0, breathing, uh, disconnecting those sensory uh, that sensory input, turning away from the tantrum, um, trying to see if the, the voice goes away a little bit, if you can leave the room. And then once you've reminded yourself, most of the time what's going to happen, you will remind that this tantrum because my child is dysregulated, my child is asking for my attention and help in this moment to regulate. So the, your response will come out of compassion and out of love and not out of anger and frustration. And um, you can, and what I like to do is then ask the child. I like to ask my daughter if she's having a, a tantrum. Okay, do you want me to sit with you? And when, once you're done crying, we can talk about it. You, you can cry. You're also encouraging them, especially encourage get their emotions out. It's all right, whatever you're feeling. I know it doesn't feel good right now, but it's okay, get it all out. And once you're done, we can talk about it. Do you want to hold my hand? Sometimes they will want you to go to the When you regulate yourself, then you're able to do this. When you're not regulated, you'll say, I'm not going to go to the right? Right? Like that's something that you're not able to do then. So the first step has to be to regulate yourself. Um, more often than not, you'll see when a child is throwing a tantrum and you respond in an aggressive way. You're showing aggression already. You're what happens. It never works. They get worse. They'll keep getting worse. And then you'll think, yeah, it's my time based over right? because I'm not able to actually get through this. So when you know that, then you also look at so this isn't working, I need to pick something else. So these are some ways that you can do that. Ask your child what they need. Um, sometimes they don't want to be close to you. They'll say, no, you don't want to be close to me. I hate you. That's fine. You can go, okay, fine. I, I know you feel this way right now. Let me know when you want to talk. And you go away from me. No, how dare you say this to me? I'm your mother. You did this to me. That is not going to work at that point. You can talk about it later. About all of those things. Having those clear boundaries. Okay, okay, fine. You said this to me. But you know, we have a rule in the house that you can't say this to your mother. You can't say this to your father. It's not allowed. So what should we do now? You have those consequences in place. And the child will say to you themselves, that yes, there are consequences. So it's okay, take my phone. It's okay, I don't have candy today. It's okay, I don't have to go to the park. Whatever that is. Whatever you've set right, for your child. Um, and then you use those techniques that you used outside of a tantrum and you bring them into the tantrum. Because we're safely up to practice TV and the ones that we just talked about. And you can say, okay, do you think um, I mean, do you think breathing is going to work right now? Should we try that? And then you see if they respond and say, yes, I think that might make me feel better. Let's do, that. do you want to color right now? Do you think that would make you feel better? Do you think you want to talk about your feelings? You want to talk about what you're feeling right now? Exactly. Our images, the pictures we've seen, which picture do you think you want to talk about? 
uh, will tell you how you're feeling right now. Can you show me? Can you show me what that emotion is? And if nothing else works, distractions. Oh, I know you're not feeling good right now, but you remember the other day, when you didn't feel good, you didn't feel good, then we went to the aquarium and then you felt good. You want to try and turn the, the, the TV on and look for some fish right now. Maybe we can see some fish floating around and that will make you feel better. So distract them, but distract them towards their regulating techniques once you've gotten them down. The child knows that we can regulate kar sakte hai, you try to do that in the um, And you can do that uh, with the, the thing that we did in the beginning as well. Works great with my daughter. Um, actually has really helped me with uh, my, my daughter has motion sickness. I know a lot of kids do. Um, so school jate will be or not just hilly areas, but anyway, anywhere that we go, she will throw up. Um, so eventually one day it came to me, I may try Grandu. So Gadi bet him she said, Mama, I'm not feeling good. I think I'm gonna throw up. So I was like, okay, beta, how about we find five things that we can see? So she was like, Okay, I can see trees, I can see the road, I can see cars. Okay, what are three things or four things that you can touch right now? I can touch this, I can touch this car seat, it's soft, I can touch uh, this chair. She started telling me those things. And um, what can you hear right now? I can hear the traffic. I can hear Hamza crying in his car seat. I can hear, I can hear, I can hear, I can hear, whatever those things were, right? And she got so excited about it that she forgot gives go nausea. And that's the only thing that has helped me with my daughter's nausea is that she's able to get out of it by doing these things. And she loves it so much. Mama, why don't you tell me five things that you can see right now? And I'm just like a therapist ki baby. I see you all like there, right? So she's using those on me as well. Um, but you can use, do that as well, right? That is something that can help. Um, I don't want this to be like an overload of information. But generally, I've, I've given a, a rough idea of, of tricks that you can use. You know your child better than I do. You know your child better than anybody else in the world. You can pick those things for them yourself. You can say, ah, this might work for my kid. Lego ke saath khela might work for my kid. Coloring, maybe not so much. Um, whatever it is that works, uh, use that and see if that works. And that brings me towards the end. Um, open to questions or any feedback that anyone might have uh, feel free to sort of chime in if you need to with anything at all and uh, I'm happy to answer questions um, thank you so much Sarah before we move to any other questions I just uh, would like to say that you two books shared one I had the name of the second one the other one you told me the name of the because some people have asked about it and I will uh, share it later on as well yes was it the breathing book for the kids so one one I shared was for mothers mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah the, breathing. The, yeah, so it's breathing makes it better. You can't see that. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. So that's for kids. And breathe, mama, breathe is for mothers to be more mindful in your daily life. Awesome. Uh, agar kisi ka koi sawal ho, koi question ho, to aap uh, chat mein bhi likh sakte hain, or aap just you can just unmute yourself, and we have like around five ten minutes. We will take the questions, um, and then we will wrap it up. Okay. Um. Somebody has written in the chat, they want to say something. So maybe if they want to unmute or if they want to write, that's also fine. Let me just stop sharing. Hello. Uh, I took the leverage of unmuting myself. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is Samreen and uh, I live in Berlin. And uh, I'm a dentist by profession and uh, a patient of PTSD as well. And so psychology or is tarang ki cheese mujhe bohat chhi lagti hai. And I absolutely love the session. Although I was getting ready to leave um, for groceries, but Jojo um, bane mes kar diya. And I would definitely uh, listen to the uh, this audio, I guess, five more times and I would write those sticky notes and mujhe bohat achha laga aapka wo jumla ki agar boys ro nahi sakte to phir Allah ne unko aansu diye kiyo hai to obviously as uh, mothers we need to motivate them 
कि अगर थोड़ा उनकी फीलिंग है तो मेरे पास एक सवाल है और एक छोटी सी बात करने के लिए आई हैव टू चिल्ड्रन और जिनका बहुत ज्यादा डिफरेंस है लाइक टेन एंड हाफ ईयर्स का आई हैव सेवन मंथ्स ओल्ड बेबी एंड अ बॉय जिसके लिए मैं काफी ये सेशंस भी मुझे लगता है कि शायद मैं इसलिए अटेंड कर रही हूँ क्योंकि जो मेरी बेटी है अलहमदुल्ला माशा फॉर शी इज अलेवन एंड आई वुड से वो बेस्ट प्रोडक्ट है अब तक की क्योंकि आई स्पेंट अ होल लाइक टेन एंड हाफ ईयर्स इंडिविजुअली उसको रेज uh, करने में क्योंकि मुझे था कि एक बच्चा हो लेकिन ये कि कम से कम वो इस इस तरह का इंडिविजुअल हो कि बहुत सारे बच्चों का फायदा कोई नहीं है दिस इज जस्ट माई ओन थिंकिंग सो मेरा ये सवाल है कि शी इज अ प्री टीन या प्री टीन या टीन के एज में जब बच्चे जाते हैं तो हाउ डू आई tell her to down regulate her emotions like sometimes school mein sometimes she doesn't even want to talk about those things hamesha uh, i uh, i try to be very communicative har roz main usse sawal aise nahi poochti ki how was your day but ye ki na hi school se aate hi poochti hu hamesha din ke darmiyan mein ya end pe jo ek wo aapne bataya tha ki ek bacche ke sath ek direct contact wala time hona chahiye to mujhe aise lagta hai ki hum dono husband wife mein jab uske baba usko chhodne या लेने जाते हैं स्कूल तो वो ट्वेंटी मिनट उनका अपना टाइम होता है जिसमें वो समटाइम्स वो बिल्कुल क्वाइट होते हैं लेकिन समटाइम्स क्योंकि दरमियान में कुछ दिन मैंने बेबी को भेजा फॉर ड्राइव तो शी सेड नो दिस इज माय फादर एंड माय टाइम सो आई स्टॉप सेंडिंग द चाइल्ड तो हालांकि वो मुझे एक थोड़ा सा मी टाइम मिल जाता था लेकिन फिर मुझे लगा कि नहीं ये उसके और उसके बाबा का टाइम है इसी तरह से रात को जब सुलाते हैं तो मैं उससे पूछती हूँ टेल मी वन बेस्ट थिंग अबाउट टूडे वन वियर थिंग वन anything that made you sad or anything funny so us tarah ki baaton mein sometimes kuch aisi baatein nikal aati hain and then she gets very disturbed in the day time also and school mein mm, kisi ne bachchi ne aise keh diya and kyunki aapko pata hai ki uh, bahar ki countries mein ye racism wagaira ye sari cheeze bhi bahut zyada is tarah hoti hain so they are very sometimes direct a few days back uh, classmates told her like in german ugly the word ugly use usne kiya तो इट वॉज सो हाउ डू आई टेल हर लेकिन जैसे डीप ब्रीथ है तो वो तो मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि हम हम अपने पैदा हुए नए बच्चे छह महीने के भी कहते रहते हैं डी ब्रीथ डी ब्रीथ डी ब्रीथ हालांकि उसको पता कुछ भी नहीं है तो लेकिन ये कि जैसे वो बड़ी हो गई है तो जब उसको समटाइम्स मैं या डांटती हूँ या मैं भी उसको कह देती हूँ कि ये आपने गलत किया है सो शी गोज इन हर रूम एंड हाउ डू आई टेल हर कि ये आपका टाइम है कि आपने सोचना है या रिफ्लेक्ट करना है या अपने आप को कैसे गुस्से को या एंगर को या सैडनेस को मैनेज करना है ये बात और दूसरी बात जो मैंने आपने एक ऑटोनमी देने की बात की थी उस पर मैं जल्दी से ये बात शेयर करती हूँ आई एम सॉरी फॉर टेकिंग सो मच टाइम मेरी बेटी फोर इयर्स की थी व्हेन शी हैड अ टीचर ऑफ हर जो मेरी फ्रेंड थी लाहौर ग्रामर स्कूल में एंड शी टोल्ड मी दैट वी वी ट्रीट किड्स एज इंडिविजुअल्स सो ऑटोनमी इस तरह से मैंने उसको ये दी है इतने सालों में हालांकि मैं पाकिस्तान से आए हुए को अभी पाँच छः साल हुए हैं लेकिन ये कि पहले पाँच छः साल वैन शी वॉज इन पाकिस्तान और अब भी वेन वी गो सम फॉर शॉपिंग फॉर ग्रोसरी समटाइम्स मैं उसे कह देती हूँ आज का बजट तुमने हैंडल करना है हम एक्स्ट्रा चीजें ना परचेज करें समटाइम्स हम उसको कहते हैं कि हमने मेरे ख्याल में कभी भी कुछ खरीदते हैं घर का या उस तरह सो मोस्टली वी आस्क हर के आप अपनी ओपिनियन दो के ऑल दो हमने करना वही होता है एज अ पेरेंट जो हमारी जिंदगी लेकिन मुझे ऐसे लगता है कि ये लाइफ लॉन्ग डिसीजन होते हैं कि बच्चे को शुरू से पता होना चाहिए कि हम फर्नीचर कैसे ले रहे हैं ग्रोसरीज कैसे हाउस मैनेज कैसे होते हैं मेजरमेंट्स कैसे की जाती हैं लॉन्ड्री कैसे की जाती है सो दिस आई टोटली अग्री विद यू और ये छोटे से हिंट्स थे कि कैसे बच्चों को इंटीग्रेट uh, कर सकते हैं थैंक यू so i'm going to come to your first question uh first and um and that is how to teach your children um at that age ke wo khud regulate kaise kare and i'll tell you what we do in therapy um and that is jo jo main thoda sa mention bhi kiya is sort of changing the narration so when she comes and tells you aaj mujhe you know jo aapne explain kiya waqia ki you know somebody called me ugly today and that's a horrible thing aur aapka dil as a mother to jal jayega na ki mere bachche ko kisne aisa keh ke aise diya आप उससे पूछें कि अच्छा फिर आपने क्या किया वॉट इज यू डू अबाउट दैट वेन वेन इट मेड यू फील अ सर्टन वे हाउ डिड यू गेट थ्रू दैट टाइम बिकॉज आई कैन सी बेटा कि आप यहाँ बैठी भी हो और आप ठीक हो राइट right? आपने किसी ना किसी तरह से उस मोमेंट को यू नो यूज डेट इन अ वे कि आपने अग्रेसिवली उसको आगे से मारा नहीं उसको कुछ कहा नहीं सो आई एम सो प्राउड कि यू यू मैनेज टू गेट थ्रू एंड आपने कैसे किया She might say, नहीं मैंने तो कुछ नहीं किया मैं खुद बस चली गई वहां से मैंने उससे बात ही नहीं की 
बट यू माइट ऑल्सो स्टार्ट टेलिंग यू के यू नो आई फेल वो इतनी इम्पोर्टेंट ही नहीं है कि मैं उसको जवाब दो नहीं यू कैन से अच्छा यू नो दैट्स ग्रेट लाइक यू लर्न के इफ समीज बींग लाइक दिस वीडियो टू दैट इज इन वर्थ योर टाइम और ये देखेंगे वो खुद वॉट इज शी ब्रिंगिंग टू मई राइट शी कैन ऑल्सो से अच्छा मैंने म्यूजिक सुन लिया जाके बच्चों के पास ये होते हैं एयरपोर्ट्स होते हैं अपने या जो बाहर स्कूल में तो अलाउड नहीं होते होंगे बट यू नो फोन हुआ वट एवर यू केट विल बी एबल टू टेल यू दिस इज हाउ आई गॉट थ्रू इट वेन यू आस्क दैम इवन इफ दे फील लाइक दे हैव गॉट थ्रू इट बट आई से टू माई क्लाइंट इज के यू गॉट इन ईयर यू कम टू थेरेपी आई थिंक यू कम मोर देन हाफ द वर्क योर सेल्फ बिकॉज यू रियलाइज दर इज द प्रॉब्लम आपने रिसर्च किया आपने थेरेपिस्ट ढूंढा आपने उसको अप्रोच किया आपने सेशन की पेमेंट की आपने अपने फाइनेंस मैनेज किए एंड यू गॉट टू दिस पॉइंट यूर टॉकिंग टू मी राइट नाउ यूव डन मोर देन हाफ द वर्क जब आप उनको ये बोलोगे वो एकदम से कहेंगे कि हाँ मतलब बात तो ठीक है लाइक मैंने कर लिया है एंड दैट विल गिव दम ए न्यू फाउंड सॉर्ट ऑफ अ वे टू आंसर एज वेल एंड दिल से आई हैव दीज केपेबिलिटीज दैट्स हाउ आई एम बिल्डिंग दर कैपेसिटी कि वो अपने अंदर वो पॉजिटिविटी देखें कि मैं खुद ये चीजें कर सकती so applying the same to your children asking them what helps them asking them how they get through these difficult moments and that should have your answer um and then next time you can say you remember in that tough time you told me you listened to some music you went for a walk um you thought about so and so things sometimes they will tell you ke maine socha aapne mujhe us din ye baat ki thi ya maine tv pe ye dekha tha mujhe movie mein ye suna tha to maine uske bare mein socha aur phir maine aise kiya so maybe next time you can think about that again in a moment like this when you're feeling upset so take those clues from them that's also that's also my answer to your question number 2 um when you're giving them autonomy you you're helping them make their own decisions and tell you how what works for them basically instead of saying i heard this great seminar i think you should start breathing i think you don't know how to breathe they'll say yaar ab ab bhai naya koi musibat jo aane lagi hai right they're not going to respond to it in a very positive way so take those clues from them um and 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 that's great if your child is able to tell tell you ki ye mera no time hota hai with baba i i need that that's excellent um jo aap tab tak mention kiya ki sote hue you ask her questions try to see how comfortable she is is that a fun time for her is that cuz i know my mother used to do this and she used to say to me ke i am your best friend if you tell me anything and i know now that that's a lie um and as a mother even more so because i think you can't be friends with your kids right there's too much willingness and wanting to protect them and be there for them and see the best in them you can't be their friends right so my mother used to do that and you know society secrets nikal wa leti thi and the next argument we had she would say tumne to ye bhi kiya tha wo bhi kiya tha and i'd be like why would you mean who is my friend right so see if that is something that's enjoyable to her if it's not ask her to bring an activity what do you like doing what should we do together maybe she says um i like doing this with you i like reading with you reading is an excellent way to uh, down regulate as well like reading time karne she brings her own book you bring your own book apna apna karke but you're doing it together it's your time together maybe you talk about something fascinating in your book maybe she talks about hers um but really ask her if that time is enjoyable the father ka jaise usne khud communicate kar diya ki this is my time with my father it's enjoyable and that might also be her telling you ke the new sibling is not wanted all the time because bachcho mein hota hai especially if they've been the only one getting all the attention for a long time um so just try to get those uh, sort of uh, answers from her i would say i hope um, that answers your question yeah thank you sara is there anyone else koi agar sawal ho hum ek sawal aur le sakte hain because we're actually out of time now of time. and i don't want yeah. to keep sara um i think लेकिन एक बात आपने बिल्कुल मैंशन नहीं की थी वॉज अबाउट न्यूरो डाइवर्जेंस क्योंकि अगर कोई बच्चे को ऑटिज्म है या एडी एच डी है तो सेंसरी ऑफ लोड वगैरह की वजह से टैंट्रम वगैरह हो सकते हैं एंड इट्स वेरी हार्ड स्पेशली इफ इट्स योर एल्डेस्ट चाइल्ड यू मे नो बी अवेयर एट होल और आप जो टेक्निक्स Neurotypical बच्चों के साथ work करती हैं they do not work with neurodivergent children. Um, that's just one issue. Just for awareness, मैं सोची थी कि मैं जरा सा आपसे मैंने पूछूं. Yeah, um, I'm really glad you brought that uh, up. The reason I don't mention it, I've actually when I started my support group, um, I had a lot of parents sort of mention or people who mentioned कि you know आपने आप ऐसा support group क्यों नहीं start करती for for parents who have children who have you know these these different ways of doing things and um why don't you cater to them and um i realized ke 
we're, we, we're not really, as a society, we're not at that place where we're able to have this conversation along with our normal, like typical conversation where we're talking about normal children and how they're doing things. Because um, somehow that isolates the conversation a little bit more. And, and that's what I decided long term, inshallah, once I have enough parents who are interested, I'll start that support group where these mothers can come in with their, um, you know, individual queries and, you know, wanting to get together and talk about their struggles and their challenges, because 100%, none of this is going to work with a child with a special needs. Um, so I, I really think um, not... Um, I don't think I'll be able to answer this question because the, the talk wasn't catered to uh, special needs. But with this, I will say that there are lots of ways when we study psychology, of course, that is a, a huge part of it, um, especially with people. I've, I've worked a little bit with children myself and um, you know assessing them and all of that um, in different capabilities as well. Um, I, I there are different techniques that work from and I for them of course and I uh, I'm sure that as a parent if, if you have a, a child with those needs I think you probably um, have a, a good idea of how that works because case like I said individual differences especially in cases like these uh, there will be uh, there are spectrums you know somebody is uh, even with autism if we talk about ADHD autism even these um, have spectrums and something that works for somebody who's on the very end of the spectrum would may not work for somebody um, else, right, for a different child. So there's just a very large variety of things that you can try for them. Uh, but I think one thing that still applies is that in whatever way that your child can, whether they're non-speaking, non-verbal, whether they are able to communicate in some way, um, is get those clues from them. Uh, you can see with your child what they're enjoying, uh, what is actually able to give them some of that, you know, like soothing, can that effect are you able to sort of understand that. Um, so get those answers uh, from your child and then try yeah. to see how you can work that. Nee, Jessica, like her, what I actually meant was that some parents will be that you know, at the beginning, like a child will be able to so I don't know that they have a diagnosis. I mean, I'll be perfectly honest with you. I'm a doctor myself and I'm I, I live in Britain. I'm born and brought up here. I had no idea until my son was about 12. He was my eldest child. I just assumed he was smart because he had smart parents. There were so many things I just thought, mashallah, and it turned out in the end that he had high functioning autism. He's got Asperger's. But they need Allah because I said, they're actually very well behaved. Yeah. Very well behaved. Like it's just that uh, just to raise when awareness amongst the parents to his group. Yeah. Mein, ke, you know, if certain things aren't working, perhaps they should just There's think of the but thank you so much. Absolutely. Yeah, I, no, no, thank you so much for bringing that up. Um, honestly, um, another thing uh, that I did want to say was that uh, with 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 situations like these regulating yourself becomes even more important because now your child is not able to understand logic if you know high functioning method it's not the same way um like you said okay that he's smart and very well behaved and so you're not maybe having some of those very you know, adverse responses but it, with parents who have those um non-speaking difficult in that you can't misbehave with your child right when they're misbehaving you can't hit them that's not going to make sense so that sort of thing it becomes even more important to work on your own regulation so that you can um regulate your child better um but but you're right yes 100 percent. if you feel like with yourself or your children something is just not working out or something is is looking like you know you typically they say lagra and i have my clients who they've got uh, you know like two year olds three years old and they're like you know ki speech nahi hame theek lag rahi aap ek session karke dekh lenge ki ye sahi bol nahi rahe totla bol rahe and like, you know they ye bhi hum thoda zyada as a culture ek wo hota hai ki perfection honi chahiye and everything but if your child is old enough and aapko lag raha hai ki ab individual differences se baat aa gaya ye definitely get a, a consult 100% so thank you for saying that i think that's important information for everybody um, yeah, thank you so much, Alia. If it's if it's your name, thank you for bringing this up. Also, I think it's a good feedback for us as an organization yeah. to be sensitive sensitive about this fraction of our, you know, um, the people that we have in our community. 
to also bring this topic up uh, because I don't think so we do this enough. Uh, but just con in conclusion, I want to add this uh, to Sarah uh, that your session was, as everybody said, was amazing. It was very, very insightful. Um, but what for me, it was so interesting that it was more parent centric and not child centric because most of the times when we talk tantrums, we, all, we always want to fix the child, right? So quote unquote, we just want to fix that situation. Um, and at one point, I was just thinking, why uh, is Sara only talking about, uh, you know, parents and only talking about the emotional regulations? Um, up until now, you had not mentioned tantrum at all. And at one point in the middle, you just said that, and I wrote that because you said most of the work has to be done outside of a tantrum. And then it just hit me because you, all that uh, you had said, actually, this is the most work that we need to do first until we reach that situation when a child is experiencing a tantrum. So it was amazing. And I think everybody would also benefit from the recording, which we'll share in a few days, inshallah. I'm extremely sorry for whoever wants to ask a question right now. I would not take it only because we are keeping Sarah for more than what we intended. No, no, that, that's not a problem. I actually, if it's just me, um, I do want to do the end of my uh, activity, if that's all right with you. Um, um, and yes. if if anybody um, has would, further questions, yeah, I would just conclude the session uh, yes. for, 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 uh, because I have to stop the recording. I would just appreciate sure. and also thank you again, Sarah, for uh, taking this time out and also giving us such nice insights. Um, or again, uh, recording I'm share kar denge. Mene Sara ka jo uh, public platform ka link hai, wo chat mein bhi share kar diya, but with the recording, we'll also share it again. If you want to contact her personally and privately, thank you so much, Sara. I would just record, uh, stop the recording and then you can carry on with person, whoever wants to ask the question. Once again, uh, Jazakallah, I will just...